I got a comment today on my video uh, from one of my members. We have membership on YouTube. Yay. You want to join? Feel free. And it was the mention that Gnome's not been doing anything with HDR. That's the farthest thing from true. And of any desktop environment, they've been doing the most because, well, they've been taking it slow. They've been figuring out the bugs, the issues. They've been giving feedback. They've been taking that feedback. They've been applying fixes and updates and so much more. Today, I'm going to show you what's coming in GNOME 48. It's going to be in pieces because, well, I did have it working. Honestly, I did. I really did. Uh, and I want to show you that because I do have everything in screenshots because I screenshot everything. Everything that I do. Uh, where is it? Oh, there's funny talk right there. And... I need to go back a bit uh, ways. The minute I see angry Gandalf is the no, the minute I know that I got it done. So first things first, this is what you'll have to enable HDR. This is what I ended up compiling. As you can see, that's my monitor, the XCC24. And um, I was running through these pull requests on, what, what, when was it? It doesn't tell me the date. It does actually, it was the 8th. And I never did a video about it because, you know, I was doing some stuff. Now, here's the proof that it actually works. See this? It was the mutter HDR settings, blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's the Lord of the Rings. I know. Think of me what you wish, but I don't really have my current one on hand. Uh, it loaded the HDR layer. It created the HDR space, the swap chain, everything. And it also used the color space. Now, there's an issue. And uh, you may not notice from here at all. I think this is the one that I did after, but uh, it was pretty bad. Okay, the movie was bad. The games were good. Now, it took a lot of work to get this going. Uh, there was a lot of trial and error. As you can see, here's some trial and error. Uh, where is it? YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Compositor is lacking support for color management protocols, which was merged in GNOME 47, by the way. So the new support for the color management protocols are there and they are able to be utilized. I just had to enable it using a debug setting. But when everything is finalized and GNOME 48 comes out, everything's going to work fine. So there was some logs that I did as well. And the logs are still here. I think it's this one. Is this stalker too? No, that's... uh. Hogwarts Legacy and right there HDR so this is Wayland is lacking compositor support blah 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 and this one was days gone we could not get days gone to work with HDR but with stalker 2 I believe that's what this is yes stalker 2 uh, we did we we managed to get HDR to work so HDR again it says it's lacking because this is the older version. Ugh, I'm not very good at this. Let's run through the pull requests, okay? So this is the main pull request that added HDR support in uh, GNOME 45, okay? So GNOME's had support for HDR since GNOME 45. Now they've been working on a lot of things. They're currently in phase one, so merged. And Wayland protocols for HDR. And then we have, you know, this pull request here. And this one adds support for HDR10 mode, which again is this pull request here. And this MR here. Actually, I think this is... Was this merged? One second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was merged. Okay. Uh, where are we? We're still right here. And then there's an HDR Wayland video client and so on and so forth, right? Great. They added more. So they added this protocol. This allows letting control uh, application for blah, blah, blah. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here. I don't know how it relates to HDR, but when I search HDR, it pops up. And then we have this one. This adds configuration settings. So that's the HDR button itself. And... Uh, I was working through with them here. We're going to delete that comment since it does not relate to this whatsoever. I actually got it fixed another way. So this is done. This is for GNOME 48. And then... Wait, we skipped one, didn't we? Yes, we did. We skipped one. This one right here. 
This one adds the ability to actually get things done. See, I'm right there. And it allows to set the color profile, allows the monitors to see that you have HDR, it allows everything, okay? And again, I, I showed them that it worked, that I got it running. I showed them how to, I built it and everything like that. And you need the GNOME 48 GNOME shell to get this to work. So again, we went through hell with that. And then this guy's having his issues. And uh, yeah, this all leads back to, I believe right here. We go down, you'll notice my problem. I have failed to open up a new issue yet, but I'm going to try to do that today. But this is what Lord of the Rings looked like in HDR. It was extremely overblown and it had problems. This is not what it's supposed to look like. Now, I did eventually fix this. I unplugged my non-HDR monitor, which is the center. I unplugged my left HDR monitor and I only had the right one in. So I enabled the right one with HDR. Then I plugged in the left one and then I plugged in the center one and it worked from there on in. It needed to know the order of things. Uh, so HDR and gaming, I got working with GameScope. That was fun. Okay, currently Days Gone has issues with that. I couldn't fix that. We tried everything. Uh, I, I have to make a bug report about that, but I don't like talking to the DXVK people. They tend to be very toxic and egotistical, and I'm not for that, so I tend to avoid them completely. You'll find this when you do bug reports. Like, I again, I'm encouraging you to do bug reports. But what you can expect in GNOME 48 is the ability to enable HDR and have full color profile uh, protocol enabled uh, if the pull request gets merged. And by that, I mean, uh, I believe it's this one. Is this the one? Wayland protocols, merge request. Oh. Yeah, this is not the right one. But there is a pull request that was opened four years ago that allows for better color accuracy when using HDR. And um, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. I have found it. There you go. There it is. So this is the thing that will allow you to have better color accuracy going forth. Now, if you think that GNOME's not been doing their job, as you can see, they have been. Again, many people put them down. It's been merged since GNOME 47. Milestone. There you go. So it's already in and you can, it's already enabled by default, except when you're working with GNOME 48, they tend to strip out a few things and then implement them slowly. So you'll have to wait for that. That'll probably be beta or maybe the first alpha, who knows? But yeah, here it is. They are all ready to go. And you know, KDE's got theirs, which is more surprising. Uh, the fact that it wasn't rushed in, because the normally they rush everything in. Weston's got it, and uh, Mess has got a PR open. EGL does not have anything implemented. Uh, GStreamer has something. GTK4, again, GNOME has something merged. And uh, MP4, Bbuff, Wayland, and QT. There it is. So everything is there. Three acts are done. Now we just need reviews and other things to be implemented and we should be good to go. I'm hoping that GNOME will pull this one out of their asses and get this ready to go as well because we're going to need everything. But has there been any updates at all on this? Anything? Okay, well that got closed. That's good. That means they fixed another issue. When was this closed? Sorry, I have to check on this. Gamma control protocol. Interesting. So at this moment of time, most people don't know this, um, but Wayland is way more advanced now than X11 ever was in such a short time. There may be a lot of bickering and infighting and stuff, but they're getting the job done, which is nice. So hopefully the fact that this gets closed Maybe things will be able to move forward a little bit better. And uh, we'll see how things work out. So again, most people don't know the development process. Most people think that GNOME just take years to get things done. The truth is, they do it for a reason. 
right now the KDE implementation and KDE, like the HDR implementation and KDE, I've used it, I've tested it. It's meh at best, even with frog protocol and other stuff enabled, it just doesn't work like they think it does. It doesn't look very good. Over the weekend, I tested it on my laptop using uh, Adobe Vision TV, 4K, OLED and stuff. It looked completely wrong compared to how it's supposed to look. So there's that. The GNOME version on my laptop looked great when I did the thing where I, you know, I gave it priority and it knew what it was doing. So that Lord of the Rings thing didn't happen again. But again, Linux is always a work in progress. So GNOME 48 is going to be pretty huge. HDR is coming and I'm going to be very excited when it does because I like gaming in HDR now. It's pretty. So I need to go make that issue. I need to report that problem. And yeah, hopefully we can get everything fully functional by the time that GNOME 48 is fully released. And I plan on bug testing the crap out of it. I already have an Arch Linux install with GNOME 48 ready to go. Uh, it's the early build version, so I just have to basically get pull and then compile and then install again and again and again until we're at the point where, you know, we're good to go. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe. I teach Linux. I don't just do videos like this. You can find a playlist in the description below, which has all the content for beginners. And then there's two other playlists, one for Fedora, one for Arch, which teaches you the package managers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.